Year. Happy New Year for all that's that subscribe to this channel. Happy New Year. Let's get y'all set up. Get y'all squared up. What up, what up, what up? How's everybody doing? Merry New Year. Hope you guys had a great, happy New Year so thus far. You know, everybody's doing great. Uh, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's the first live of the year. I'm just, you know, getting out here, getting warmed up. I got to play um, tonight. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out which guitar I'm going to take. I think I'm going to take my um, PRS tonight, but we'll just see how it is. Uh, let's go over. Let's do what everybody's saying real quick. What up, what up? So long, King. What's good, man? Just chilling. There he is. Uh, hey, Carrie, is there anything um, in the camp for qu quartet? Yes, you got to go to the gospel stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there for a quartet. Uh, Monday is the day. Almost gay. Listen, roll my tie. You see that helmet in the back? We not playing with him. You see that helmet? Oh, meet my hand together. There we go. Roll tide. Uh, <laughs> work out, my guy. Sweet. Those chords. Uh, hello. I see you from Spain. We got Spain in the house. That's what's up. That's what's up. Brazil is in the house. Could you teach something about about y'all, Jay? How? Uh, we'll see. Happy New Year, bro. You sounding uh, slippery sick with those chords. That's what's up. <laughs> Are you performing live? What's up? I'm performing at a place called the uh, Blue Martini here in Atlanta. Uh, the acoustic version. Sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm performing at the Blue Martini tonight. So if you're in Atlanta. Um, I think the show starts at eight. So if you want to come through, I'm playing with a harpist, which is going to be kind of dope. So yeah, let's get this guitar together. I think I'll use her tonight. Get her locked in. So what y'all been up to? Y'all got any good questions for me? I'm answering questions for a little bit today. Before I go hang out with my sons. Good. 
good. Sounds like she's ready. All right, cool. Let's look at. I've got some questions. Um, okay, what's good? Chilling, chilling, chilling. I'm in South Carolina. Um, if I leave now, I can make it. Man, come on, Christopher. Come on, man. Uh, I don't tell nobody. I'm from Detroit, but Bama beat down Michigan. Oh man, bro. Listen, already day. Do you know Eddie Stokes? He's in Atlanta. I do not know him. Um, any hours, hours and hours ideas? Uh, let's listen to the song. That's the only way to get ideas, right? Because I've seen a lot of people do like you know uh, covers of it, and I've heard the song, but I haven't played it. Hours and hours. Let's listen to it. Uh, let's see. Is there any other questions first? She really sounds great. Yeah, cool. Still trying to figure out how to place uh, the sauce. If you're a camper, man, I show people, if you're not a camper, become a camper. I show people all the time how to place the sauce. So go to carryscamp.com, K-E-R-R-Y-S, K-A-M-P.com. I have a solo gig in a couple of weeks. How uh, would I approach? So Joseph, it depends, it depends on what you have to play and where the venue is. Is it an intimate setting? Is it an acoustic gig? Am I just playing? What 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 is, I need more information. That mug sounds fire. Appreciate it, man. Can you play reggae? I'm not playing any right now. Uh, it's dope. All right, cool. Let's listen to this song, Hours and Hours. So like the progression is that two, three, six. Then I'm going to go flat two, which is that diminished C diminished. I'm going to go to E flat, F sharp. think of using the diminished man you got to use diminished man it definitely colors it up really nice you know what i'm saying i'm playing the electric bro and that's and it's all brewery uh so you want to find a song if you're playing at a brewery songs that are going to make people be engaged don't play anything that's boring that's too slow so find a set list and create a set list that people are going to enjoy you playing the music play covers stuff that they know uh, especially if you're playing at a brewery that's what i would suggest Uh, da, da, da. Cool, that flat too. Is that, that's what I was missing. Oh, sweet. Appreciate it, beautiful, beautiful. Um, when recording, do you double track? 
uh, the same guitar part to thicken it up? Uh, sometimes I do. So like, let's just, I had to work on the track, Brandon. I'm actually gonna show you, this is it, uh, that I worked on. I worked on the other day, so right? Close, I don't want that, don't say there. She don't wanna be said. So uh, I'm gonna play my first guitar part, right? And then this is my second guitar part. Make sure it's all right. Get you squared up. So this is the first guitar part that I played in the record. Then I also played another part to kind of thicken it up. So that's like the first part that I played. I'll say, like, okay, cool. It sounds good. And typically I paint my guitars. So that's why you're hearing it on one side. Here's the second guitar part that I um, play. So the way you can hear that guitar. Here we go. All right, cool. Now we're going to hear them together. So you can hear I thicken them both up so that way it has a fuller sound. So I'm, for the most part, Brandon, whenever I'm playing, man, I try to I try to give some context. Like either I'm going to play a lower register of the progression and play a higher register. But if I play the higher register after I've already played the lower, I want to give like uh, I'm grabbing certain melodies in there. So I'm trying to be more melodic when I'm playing those particular chords. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what's up. That's a great question. Uh, that turnaround was nasty. Appreciate it, man. I just bought the beginner. Uh, Carrie Kemp chorus. Oh man, that's what's up, Jalen. That's what's up. Definitely need the tutorial on that song. Uh, we'll add it to the list, man. Thanks, man. Sauce King. What pedals are you using? Um, I use the Helix primarily. That's my main pedal. Uh, how important is it to develop your own style um, to sound distinguished from everyone else? Uh, in a sense, it's, it, it's important, but in, a, in another sense, no, they want you to play and sound like the guys that are kind of already playing on these records. So a lot of stuff kind of does sound the same. Um, at a, it's more personality at, at a certain level. When you're trying to get on, I mean, you're trying to figure out whatever you got to do, but at a certain level, then it all becomes personality because everyone has a various variation of how they sound kind of similar. There's some little bit of context, but nine times out of ten, when you're playing the same record, they want the record played. So then it becomes like, how cool are you? You know what I mean? Personality wise. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I'm always thinking about doubling up records, Brandon. So just to give y'all a snippet, um, this is part of the record. So I want to let y'all listen to the record first without there being any guitar parts and you'd be like, okay, cool. This is so, I was asked to play on top of this record. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, cool. So you hear that? Like, the, it's the bass, like the key bass on this joint is rocking. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, it's definitely moving in such a way. I'm like, all right, cool. We need to put some sauce on this. So, like, my first part, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll meet my second guitar. This is what I'm thinking. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's just let's just play the song because I wanted to feel a certain kind of way. So here we go. All right, so I'm like, okay, we got, we grabbed the first part. Like, we were definitely playing the song. But I'm like, all right, for the second part, I want to definitely give them a little bit lower register, but I want to move around a little bit. I want to, you know, make that thing do what it's supposed to do. So here we go. So the second part. <laughs> So that that I'm playing even on playing the lower register, I'm I'm definitely trying to give you a little like movement, like why you in there. So I'm always thinking about when I'm playing these songs and I'm like lacing up these records, especially when it's like R and B. I have a little bit more uh, ability to kind of move in within the song. So I'm trying to make it like I want to think about if somebody was dancing and kind of doing. Like, I don't know, man. I'd be thinking like if it's a Marion or a Chris Brown dancing to the music. Like I'm trying to give them something like make them want to do movements to the certain beats. 
like in the song. So I'm not just playing it on the chords. I'm trying to make sure the chords are thick enough to where they give enough context, but not too busy where they get in the way of what the singer is doing. You know what I mean? So it's, it's really important to try to work on stuff like that. Uh, Carrie's Camp has changed my entire life, man. Play it. Oh, my entire style. Thanks, man. Joe, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's why I love you, man. Jubu, uh, you and Jubu, because y'all both have a unique sound. Uh, sweet, I appreciate that, man. Can't wait uh, for that All About You. Yo, that should be coming up. I want to say maybe Tuesday. I play with a lot of guys who want to play the song the way it's important. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's important to play like how it's supposed to be played. Love the program and also look forward uh, to the guests this year in Carrie's camp. Uh, you think you could ever get Jonathan DuBose to come in? Mm, let me write that down. I can ask. I mean, the worst thing you can say is no. But now I know if I get Jonathan DuBose to come through, just know that he's going to be... It's a, it's a spiritual aspect because that's, that's who he is. You know what I'm saying? So... That's just who he is. But yeah, for sure. Definitely for sure. Uncle Johnny. Oh, Jonathan Butler, not DuBose. Oh, man, I could ask, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm in Carrie's camp for, enroll for two months. That's what's up. Uh, should I try to set my action low? Um, as possible without getting a bus. That's, that's what I do. It just makes it easier to play. All right, cool. So now let's listen with both guitars in there, how we want to make it move. Oh, no. This is the... Listen to how I put both guitars in there. Mind you, I pan my guitars because it's really important for me to pan. <laughs> There's certain parts that you want to make that song feel the way that you want it to feel. So it's really important me, like as a guitar player, I understand I've, I've started to learn over the years, like how you want to play certain sounds and certain movements on certain variations with the chords so that way they don't sound the same. You know what I mean? This song has not come out yet. I guess I'll let you guys listen to a snippet of it. It's going to be dropping at some point this year, hopefully, you know what I mean? So, um, but I'm excited about the song coming out. It's going to be good. All right, I'm gonna take a few more questions, man, but then I gotta get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get up out of here. Uh, I appreciate it, man. I, I really believe this song's gonna be dope, man. Like, I just, I don't know what the marketing's gonna be wrapped around it. Hopefully the marketing will be dope. You know, you never know with these things, man. You know what I'm saying? We need to sing tracks back. Do you send each track separately? Yes. Yes, and usually I don't try to put anything on there. I try to keep them as dry as possible, Brandon, so that way like, I'll, I'll allow the producer to what I do is, like, number one, I'll, I'll send it away. Like, I hear it, but then I send it straight down the middle. I send it dry so the way he can do whatever he wants to do to it. But that's the best way. I don't pan anything um, when I send it. So what I'll do, I'll send it three different ways. Like, now I got two guitar parts. So what I'll do is I'll send the track in the way that I hear it. Then I'll send each individual guitar part by itself, unpanned, untampered with, so the way he can decide what he wants to do. He can paint the picture however he wants to paint the picture. You know what I mean? Malaysia, yo, I've been there. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, do you know any musicians um, with a unilateral hearing loss? I've never met anybody like that, Jasper. Never heard anybody like that. Never met anybody like that. What's up, Mr. Red? Chino Hills is in the house. I'm thinking of joining the camp. John, you should definitely join the camp. Um, is it for live time subscription? You have... Uh, Yearly subscription, and you also have lifetime, so I have both. Uh, you inspire me to start playing. That's what's up. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. It means a lot to me, man. Definitely. Man, Brandon, I appreciate it, bro. Seriously, man. <laughs> I 
I shouldn't have done that moment. But I didn't want to be too busy. <laughs> crazy the guitar i used on this record was my gretch yo gretch has got some heat man i used my gretch guitar for this record and that joint sounds incredible you know what i'm saying so for those guys who are looking for guitars to get this year yo gretch has got some heat man i'm telling you gretch has got some heat <sighs> what are the first steps to learning soul guitar becoming a camper go to carrie's camp that's the first step Scratch, whatever. The first step is becoming a camper. Go to carriescamp.com, K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. Do you ever upload guitar loops for producers? I work specifically, um, exclusively with producers. I don't load any packs anymore. So if a producer wants some stuff or whatever, he comes to me directly, and then he and I, we work out some sort of arrangement. You know what I mean? So if you're in Sweden, you want to hit me up, just email me. Uh, carry too smooth at gmail.com. We can work on some stuff. You know what I mean? Dude, uh, you don't know how much you have changed my plan, man. Thank you, man. That means a lot, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for keeping us on point. Always, always. Can you play uh, the solo from score? Uh, the one. Let's go pull it back up. Sheesh. I don't even remember that arrangement. I'll let you know a lot of times when I'm playing these shows or whatever, like I learn it for what I got to learn and then I, I forget after that point. So that was Isaiah. Rashad. Kimmel. Let's go to the end. Okay, so this is what I, I if I remember it correctly. So it, I believe it goes like this. Uh, let me lower this real quick. We're in D. <laughs> Try to back it up a little bit. Play along with it, 
mess. That's all cut up. Let's play along with it. Do something a little different. So I met that right guy in my shoe. What was you doing for the guy? I'm still by out of reach. You know I met that right guy in my shoe. All right, you know I'm not even going to sit there like this. from a show <laughs> from a, a live taping uh that was cool all right i saw a few more comments and i gotta get ready to go uh all right cool played that with mr red um i've been practicing on acoustic um it's indeed a harder way to play is there a better way to master the acoustic than jumping to electric uh, it depends on what kind of acoustic that you have the neck may be too fat the action may be too high, so you may want to get a smaller neck or lower the action on your guitar. Hello, once again. Uh, been a while since I watched you live. Yep. How do you do? Uh, how do you go about picking uh, the guitar you want to play each gig? Depends on the tonality of the of the songs that we're playing. Also, it may also depend on which guitar has the best strings on it at the moment. Uh, it just luck of the draw. Or if I just don't have to play anything specific, whatever I want to play. Like if I just like this guitar better, then that's what I use. What string gauge do you use on your Grex? Tens. Excellent video, bro. Oh, that solo was sick. It's not on the original song. Nah, because that was a live arrangement. So whenever you're playing for TV, you don't ever play specifically everything that's on the song. You make an arrangement for TV. So you got any money invested in crypto? Uh, honestly, I've been thinking about getting into NFTs. I'm curious, you know what I mean? Hey, Carrie, love your teaching still. Uh, will you ever include a slow motion camera? Uh, we have slow motion ability on our videos. That's fire. Try solo to rhythm changes. Uh, how would you, how would I do better with my rhythm playing? If you want to better your rhythm playing, become a camper. We got lessons and plenty of stuff on how to play your rhythm and get yourself straight. Thanks for that. I've been practicing ear training on that. Uh, thanks, so, so dope. Appreciate it. Chris, you play with the metronome. Hey, Carrie, how are you doing? Uh, how do I buy your book? Um, in India. So we're going to be posting the link pretty soon. As we're still trying to figure out how to get the international sales because shipping is so expensive, uh, especially with COVID going on. We're going to see what's up. Uh, do, 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 do. You have inspired me. Thanks, Carrie. Man, you're more than welcome. Hopefully you guys have had a great day and a great afternoon. I love you guys so much, man. You guys stay up, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you're brand new to this channel, you've just your first time meeting me, man, do me a huge solid subscribe and click the bell to be notified because I will hop on here from time to time and do lives, play, answer questions, whatever the case may be. If you heard me talk about Carrie's Camp last year and you were curious and you never just jumped in, this is the year to become a camper. Do it. Go to Carrie'sCamp.com. K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. I would love for you to be a part of the camp in the community. We are growing. We are taking over. We are doing giveaways galore. We're gonna be giving away Mark Letiri's. So, matter of fact, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna just. To, I'm gonna show y'all. We're giving away Mark Letiri's guitar, his signature model. Now, mind you, this is brand. Y'all see, I still got the tag on this joint. It's brand freaking new. One of my students is going to win this guitar in a few weeks. You know what I'm saying? In a few weeks. I'm so hyped. I can't even believe it. One of my lucky students is gonna win this guitar. And I haven't even played it. That's the crazy part about it. I said I wasn't gonna play the guitar. I ain't played the guitar. Look at this, Look at this motherfucker. Oh my God. Yo, 
if you don't join Carrie's Camp for nothing else but the giveaways, do yourself a huge solid and join Carrie's Camp. Listen, we're doing giveaways, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Listen, we get, it's about to happen. This year's about to be stupid. We going to another level this year. 2022, bro, we, it's about to be at another level. So if you haven't already joined Carrie's Camp, and you're considering becoming a camper, you should definitely do it. And what's going to be crazy, this is Mark Letiri's signature guitar. This is a signature Fiore. Mark is a good friend of mine. He's going to be making the announcement of who won the guitar. Is that not crazy? Is that not cr Listen, I don't care about nobody else out there, and I love everybody that's out there doing what they're doing. But ain't nobody doing what we doing. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Pat yourself on the back. Love yourself. Enjoy yourself. Drink water. Hydrate. Become a camper. Go to carriescamp.com. K-E-R-R-Y-S. KMP.com. Ain't nobody out there doing what we doing. I'm trying to tell you. Listen, there's plenty of chefs out there, but everybody ain't got the sauce the way we got the sauce. That's why you come to this restaurant. I love you guys.